Want to learn English from zero? Click on the link right here to learn with Elite. Hope you enjoy the video. So, student, what did you do this weekend? I went to the cinema and saw a film. It was a splendid time. Yeah. A lot of English students I meet study really hard and have very good grammar. They might be fluent, but they don't sound natural. This is because of their word choice. A lot of the textbooks used in Vietnam were written by old, white, Western men, which means that the vocabulary in them is very old, formal, and outdated. So if you use certain textbook phrases, you will sound like an old white man trapped in a young Vietnamese body. Oh. Hello! I'm an old man born in the year 1955, and I wrote your English textbook. So anything he says, you should avoid. Let the education commence! So, what did you do this weekend, old man? Me? Well, I had a marvelous weekend. I went to the cinema, and I watched a film. You sound really strange. Huh? What should I say instead? Well... Instead of today, I'm going to the cinemas, it sounds more fluent if you say, I am going to the movies. And film is a really old word that nobody really uses anymore. A lot of students will say, today I watched a film, but instead you should say, today I watched a movie. Say, young man, what are you doing there on that cell phone? Sending an email. What? You can surf the web from a, from a phone? That's amazing! Surf the web. This hasn't really been said since the 1990s. So now, you can just say, go online. For example, I go online with my smartphone, and I never go off. Hey old man, can you pass me that cell phone charger? Huh? Come again? The cell phone is charging. Huh? Come again? Cell phone charger. Come again is a very formal way of asking someone to repeat themselves. Yeah, it makes sense, but like you said, very, very formal. It's better to say, I'm sorry. Or to be a little more casual, you can say, what? Huh? So, man, what did you do in your free time? Well, I'm, I'm really fancy watching football on the television. Hmm, me too. Hmm. Anything else? Ah, I'm. I'm keen on reading the daily newspaper. If you like something, you can just say, I like it. I like watching football. Keen on and fancy are really outdated. Or you can say, I'm into something, like I'm into EDM music, or I'm into playing World of Warcraft. Oh, I really love reading books. It makes me feel comfortable. One thing a lot of students say is that doing something makes them feel comfortable, which is grammatically accurate, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Students say this to express that they enjoy doing something or they enjoy a certain activity, but it doesn't really sound natural and sounds very strange to native speakers. It is better to say reading books is relaxing or reading books relaxes me. That would get the point across in a much more fluent way. That's it for today. See you soon. Thanks for viewing this uh, this this internet video, and uh, we we hope you have an enchanting day, young people. Các con chơi tắt máy đi được tiếng Anh đi à? À, chắc là bởi vì không nắm rõ từ vựng ngữ pháp nên chưa luyện được đúng không? Bấm vào trên này nhé, đủ hết đấy, thấy nhá, bấm đi. Bấm luôn đi đấy.